So how are projects like this potentially relevant to real world applications? Actually, even before we go to that, um, now that you've succeeded at beating human players at no press diplomacy, the big research question is going to turn to press diplomacy, I imagine, which is going to be presumably orders of magnitude more challenging because once you can have natural language communication, the kind of behind the scenes um, strategizing and lying uh, in order to have a machine that could perform well at that, it would have to have a deep understanding of natural language and human behavior in the context of lying and strategizing. It sounds like a big uh, jump to have uh, to do that. Yeah, so like I said, I, I see this as a very long-term research agenda, and, and I think by making an expert level no press diplomacy bot, uh, we've just done the first step of like, you know, maybe a dozen steps. Um, we don't have to jump straight to natural language. There okay. are ways that you could, um, you know, for example, allow bots to communicate without, like in a, uh, with a small communication channel where they're just sending a few bits back and forth. Um, there's, there's a lot that we can do. Um, and I think there's a lot of interesting research questions that come up even in that domain. Um, but yes, the long-term goal is, can we get this bot to play in natural language with humans and do well? Um, and I think, you know, if, if we can get there, I think that it, the, the applications, I think, are, are pretty clear. Yeah. Do you have a few examples? Right. Well, I mean, I think just, first of all, just with the, the no-press diplomacy, uh, I think we've had really fascinating breakthroughs with being able to model humans. And I should say also, you know, we, we're doing experiments now to see if this technique is more broadly applicable. And we found that like similar techniques work well in Go for modeling humans. It works well in Hanabi, uh, another uh, cooperative card game for modeling humans. And I think there's potential for this to more broadly be used um, to model human behavior in the real world. And that's, all, that's ultimately the goal. I mean, we're, we're not here to just make AIs to play games. We're here to use games as a benchmark to measure progress against real humans, um, but to eventually apply it to the real world. And, and so I think by being able to model humans better in these games, we can use these techniques to better model humans in the real world and, and develop AIs that can cooperate, collaborate with humans uh, in the real world as well. So for example, um, you know, I, I think one clear application might be self-driving cars. Uh, uh, the big challenge right. with, with uh, self-driving cars is modeling the behavior of other humans on the road. You can't just assume that they're going to behave the same way that, that the robot's going to behave. Um, and like I said, there's all these different conventions, uh, quirks that humans have that you have to be able to understand, um, even if they're irrational. And, and that's what we're able to do in diplomacy, and hopefully those techniques extend uh, to, to these kinds of domains as well.